I brought here a coaster, a circular one, and then the piece of paper, and I can pass the coaster, circular coaster, through the hole like so. It is really going through, you see. When you put one next to the other, obviously the diameter of the circle is greater than the diagonal of the square hole. I did not stretch, let alone tear. And yet something larger goes through something smaller. So how is this possible? When you fold the paper like this, the largest gap that I can take advantage of is this one, which used to be the diagonal of the square hole. But that's not all I do. I grab this sheet of paper and then I twist. As I twist, you might see in the camera that the part of the paper is rising away from the two-dimensional plane into the three-dimensional remaining residual dimension. And as those two segments are aligned, I squash and crease. Then the gap that I have created is no longer the diagonal, but it's actually the sum of those two sides. 